Hello, I'm Chef Patrice from L'Académie de Cuisine. A lot of people have been asking how to pair cheese and uh, figs together. I got a great recipe, uh, another specialty from the south of France, uh, which is called a pie saladière. But I'm going to try to pair uh, the, the cheese, uh, which is Roquefort cheese, I'm going to be using this time from the south of France. And also I'm going to be using some figs. Now figs, you can use two things. Uh, here I have some uh, dry figs. You can do the same exact recipe with fresh figs, all right? So, the first thing we're going to do is, uh, is uh, build up the uh, pea saladière, we call it. It's simply uh, a piece of puff pastry with some uh, cooked onions on top. All right, you're going to start by the puff pastry at the store and then cook it according to the direction in the box. All right, 400 degrees it goes. Again, you want to make sure that the uh, color of the puff pastry, it's, uh, um, uh, it's got some color and dark uh, puff pastry, difficult to cook. A lot of moisture inside, so it's gonna start rising like that. If it rises too much, we're gonna check this one out. We can bring it back down to make sure that uh, it cooked through, uh, throughout the, uh, the dough completely, all right? Let's go back in the kitchen in the meantime. And uh, we need to cut some onions and start cooking those onions on the stove. I got myself a nice flat pan in here, a lot of surface area. This way I can make, do a good job. I do want a little bit of a coloration of those onions, all right? So back on the stove. In the meantime, I'm gonna cut the onions First, I'm gonna cut it by half like this, and then I'm gonna cut it again by another half. This way, I don't have a big pieces of onion. And you, what you wanna do is cut the onions a uh, relatively thin cut. If you cut it too thick, it'll take longer to cook on the stove. Uh, either way, you're gonna get down, to, uh, you're gonna make it do a good job, but if you cut it thin, it'll go much faster. All right, watch for those finger also. I'm gonna cut that one. Olive oil goes in. You can see the smoke in here, which is nice. Uh, the temperature is gonna drop as soon as I add all this moisture in here. And you can see, there we go. Right here, I'm gonna take my garlic, four cloves of garlic, and I'm just gonna smash it. I don't wanna chop the garlic too thin as I put them on the stove with the onions. It may burn before the onions caramelize by keeping it a big whole cloves of garlic like that, just smash it. It should melt and uh, disappear with the onions. Not a problem there, eh? All right, very good. I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the pot. All right. I don't wanna put any salt at this point because the salt is going to withdraw the moisture of the onions. My onions are gonna start boiling instead of searing. But at one point I do need uh, to add some salt and some pepper. All right, let's check on the onions in here. All right, they're doing just fine. I've got my puff pastry in the oven at 400 degrees. I've got my onions in the back of me here roasting or caramelizing nicely. Let's talk about how I'm gonna serve this dish. Now, a pea saladier in the south of France is a piece of puff pastry with the onions with any anchovy, and that's about it. So, but for today's dish, uh, what I'm gonna do is add some uh, sliced figs. Also, the cheese I'm using today, I'm using uh, Roquefort cheese, um, of course, uh, coming from the south of France, but by no means, guys, you can use any blue fish that you like. Goat cheese, maybe, if you're not too much into blue cheese. But either way, those che the cheese gonna ma is going to uh, mash very nicely with the figs and the sweetness of the onions. The whole thing comes together nicely. When I do a dish like this, I like to make it a, a dish by itself with serving other things. Uh, you could very well uh, take this uh, dish, cut in small pieces, and have a little canapé. That would be wonderful. But if I want to serve that as a salad, let's say, for example, in the spring or summer, I like to make a nice salad, put the, um, the cheese and the fig uh, tart, that we call that, next to it. By itself, it's a beautiful dish. Nice glass of wine, you're in good shape. All right, let's go ahead and check on the puff pastry. I don't think it's ready, but I want to keep an eye on it. Oh, look what happened. Look at the puff, puffy, eh? I'm gonna bring this down, but not with your hand, because you're gonna get burned. Remember, a lot of moisture and a lot of steam, so look, I'm taking that rag in here and push it down like that a little bit, okay? I wanna try to get this nice and flat. All right, beautiful, it's not quite ready yet. We're gonna leave it in the oven, still at 400 degree temperature. <clears throat> All right, look at those onions, perfect. Look at that, nice and brown, and you can see out of those two onions I started with, what I'm ending up with, you know, not that much, but just enough for that um, little um, baking pan I have in the oven. Oh, the puff pastry must be ready. Let me go back over there. Let's check it out. 
All right, puff pastry. Look at that, timing beautiful, perfect. Nice color on this, this is exactly what I wanted. I'm gonna close the oven. We're gonna put the onions on top, finish it up. Smells already good. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the onions evenly uh, on top of the puff pastry in here. Um, nice and even. And I'm gonna cover with the cheese. There we go. All right, the, uh, the cheese, again, I'm using Roquefort cheese, but I want to crumble a little bit. This is really strong uh, cheese, so you want to try to have a nice distri distribution throughout the pie. Uh, this way you don't just bite into a, a, a larger piece of cheese and then uh, it'll be too salty and too uh, strong in flavor. All right, I'm Chef Patrice from L'Academie de Cuisine, and this is a nice way to pair fig and cheese together. All right, et voila. Thank you.